Ain't never had a girl like you. Oh, when we locked up, when you pass, couldn't look away. Ain't ain't never never welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are subscribed, welcome back. If you're not, hopefully by the end of this video, that will change and you'll decide to press that button down below. But today we are going to be doing a cash exchange slash sinking funds update. So we're going to count everything we have while also thinning out some of these envelopes. Not that they're so thick that I can barely close them. That would be nice though. But one day we'll get there. <laughs> so first I'm going to start with the uh, debt envelope because that's where I'm going to get the shimani from to exchange and it's not in here. <laughs> Let's see this one. It should be in this one. So yes, so debt. Because I don't want to keep so much cash in my house, when I get to a certain amount, like 500 in one envelope, I try to put it in the bank and thin it out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred and twenty dollars in debt. And I'm just going to keep track here with my calculator. So I'm going to take out one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You know, just triple check, you know, whatever. And I'm going to exchange it for this 500 case or not K. Whew, I wish. $500 slip. Um, and I'm going to put that in the bank. So we have five, six, seven hundred and twenty dollars Perfect. So this is already exchanged or thinned out as much as possible so i'm gonna move these out the way and we have five hundred dollars to exchange so the first thing i guess i can do i'm gonna go to this other binder first so the first one is car registration and we have 100 150 200 20 40 35 so 235 right oh no so we have 100 150 200 20 40 55 so 255 and i'm going to take out these 250s and i'm going to grab a 100 dollar bill and we have 20, 40, 50. So I'm gonna take out these two 20s and this 10 and exchange it for a five. So that's one, two, 55. For car registration, Amazon Prime has 10, 25, 30, so $30. And I'm gonna take out these two fives and a 10 and grab a 20. Family Fun has $20, but I'm not going to exchange anything here. Retirement, retirement has $100 in investments, which have uh, pretty much ran down the drain. So I'm only gonna count the $15 here for retirement and let the 100 do what it do. Hopefully, it, you know, the investments of the stock market comes back up. It's slowly getting there with some of my stocks, but the one that this retirement money is in, mm -mm, child. Dang it, is has $30. I'm thinking it's like a cash stuffing and I'm about to say it's going to get, but no. It just has 30 and I'm not going to exchange anything from that. Tech. Tech has 100, 120, 130, 140, 150. So I'm gonna take the 20 and the three tens and exchange that for a $50 bill. So now we have 150. And I'm gonna put that in here. Parents has 20, 35, and there's nothing to exchange. Medical has 20, 30, 35, 40. So I'm just going to take the 10 and the two fives and exchange it for a 20. And that'll be 40, right? Yeah. Mel's budget has a uh, 15, but I'm not gonna include that in the count. And Sam's Club has 20, 40, 60, $70, which 
I don't really have anything to exchange for that. So we're going to keep that as it is. Next, we're going to go to this binder, which car, I don't think there's anything, anything to exchange. But Cara has $500 in the bank. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 20, 40, 50. So 850 for Car. And licenses has 100, 110, 115. And there's nothing to exchange here. Vacation has 50, 70, 80 dollars and there's nothing to exchange. Household, I like to keep these things like a little more slim because I never know when I'm gonna have to take money out for buying household items. So we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, so 75 dollars in household. I am going to take two of these tens and grab a 20 and then I'll leave the rest in the small bills. Gifts. Gifts I think just has 50 dollars but I don't have anything to exchange. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I'll just add that to my account. We already added debt. School, I think we have 95, so 50, 70, 80, 95 dollars. Candle Day has 20 dollars. Since I don't plan on spending this money anytime soon, I'm gonna grab a 10 and put back the two fives. Shopping has a hundred dollars, and I'm going to leave that in small bills. Next, we have weddings, and weddings has like eight dollars. So, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to take that and exchange it for five. So, now we have five, six, seven, eight dollars in weddings. My Melissa envelope has 20, 40, 50, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3. So $73. And I'm going to take the two fives and exchange that for a 10. Renter's insurance, I think, has like 130. Yep. So I'm just going to add this. Oh, not 1330, just 130. Okay. And I'm not going to count bills because that's money that's already spent. It just hasn't come out yet. P.O. Box taxes, we don't have anything. C3, we have 25. And for savings, mm, we have 315. And these $100 bills for savings are all in the bank. And for emergency fund, we have $1,000 that is in the bank. So we have a total of $4,301, but I did forget one thing. I'm not going to count my savings challenge money. Number one, because it's not much. And number two, we just started. And number three, because I want to kind of wait towards the end of the year to add that into my um, sinking funds. But for holidays, we have... $30 for Valentine's Day and for Black Friday and Christmas, we have $20. So 
Now, finally, we have a total of $4,351 in our sinking funds. So this is already amazing. This is probably surpassed what I had probably mid year last year. So I'm very happy with this, but I also want to make sure, you know, we keep saving. Obviously, we're going to spend money, right? We're going to spend money on household items. I have to go to Sam's Club. I do have to, you know, eventually pay for my car to get fixed. Car registration is due this year. Amazon Prime is due this year or annually. So all this money is going to get spent. But as I'm saving up for savings and debt and emergency fund and big items like my birthday, I want to make sure that I am saving for those bulk items. But I also want to make sure I have some cash for my savings and for myself for, you know, emergency things that I may need. So I feel like that didn't make any sense. So we're just going to roll with it and just act like it did. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to count this money real quick or whatever. So it should be 500. So 100, 2, 3, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 90, 5, 96, 97, 98, 99, 500. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and press that button down below. It really helps out my channel. But until next time, guys, bye.